in a rapidly growing economy like we have in India, which is growing almost at an exponential scale, we are growing almost at the same rate as that of China, but only about 10 years behind. We need a large number of people in the economy who can build complex machines to, to help this growing economy. Machines for automation, uh, machines for agriculture, for factory automation, for consumer devices and such like. Unfortunately, most of our engineering colleges are turning out students who have a lot of theoretical knowledge but not enough practical knowledge. Now by tackling a real world problem in the small using this robot, the students pick up very important skills. They learn how to articulate their ideas, they learn how to work as a team, they learn project management, and they learn how to solve hard problems in the small. e -yantra designs real world problems into a game where students use imagination and innovation to solve problems in a fun way through the e -yantra robotics competition. projects what happens is students are told to make a robot but uh, by the time they reach the end of the project they just end up making the robot and they are not able to build some application on it. With this robotics research platform in your college you can make some application directly from this. Apart from the competition with eYantra we also have some different types of facilities. Uh, we also uh, provide workshops to teachers and the students. We have internships going on for the students as well. Students partic uh, participate in the various different types of competitions. We have the robotics competition and also the ideas competition. The e Yantra Lab Setup Initiative, ELSI, helps a college set up an embedded systems and robotics lab. The e Yantra project addresses three main stakeholders, students, teachers and colleges. Students are addressed through the competition, the e Yantra Robotics Competition national level and they are given a robotic kit to solve real world problems using the robotic kit. For the teachers and colleges, the eAntra Lab Setup Initiative gives a scalable and sustainable solution. Nodal centers, the co colleges which coordinate eAntra activities at different regions, they are identified and many colleges from the region participate through the nodal centers in this exciting initiative. Under our nodal center, there are 12 engineering colleges participating from Shivaji University, Kolhapur region. The faculty development programs, students competitions and many other activities are were conducted under our nodal center. The benefits of e and the projects includes increased enthusiasm among students with creative thinking, better laboratory sessions in electronics and computer science and engineering courses. Students are developing robotics applications using open source softwares available on e and the portal. Faculty members are doing their EMTech projects using Firebird platform. At the end of this whole exercise, we have teachers trained, you have a lab in place, and you have students who are already exposed to robotics and embedded systems. As a part of the lab setup initiative, eYantra provides a platform for the exchange of ideas and rich interaction between teachers and students through the annual eYantra symposium. We look forward to having this e -yantra symposium, which will serve as a kind of a reunion of these teachers who are a part of the e -yantra family. We look forward to also having more colleges joining this family soon. We want all the current uh, remote centers, which are called nodal centers, to become like IIT so that the multiplication factor and the impact and the longevity, the sustainability will be that much more in the regional areas. Um, we, can't, we can reach them to some extent through electronic means, bulletin boards and uh, tutorials and workshops there. But uh, for this to really multiply physically and have the locals participate in the whole exercise, uh, that is our, our goal. This is the e -yantra team which is going to set up 500 robotic labs in engineering colleges throughout the country in the next three years. 
and I'm very proud of them.